So you haven't seen anybody for this? No, no podiatrist? No, nobody or nothing. Okay. So you haven't tried anything over the counter? No, or? nothing. You were it. And so how long would you say you've been dealing with this now, if you had to guess? More than a few years? Oh, no. When I went to her this time, she said, you know, maybe I need to see you. I've been going to the doctor. Be on the day. Mm -hmm. I said, you know, you need me to see you. The doctor told me about you. Excellent. And how long have you been a patient of hers? Ooh, long time. Long time, very good. Yeah. When you know somebody, let me tell you about somebody. Yes, ma'am. Uh, any of these nails causing you any uh, discomfort as I trim them here? No, no, no. They're no pain or nothing. Sure. When I called to hit a so when will you be back? She said, be back next Monday. I said, well, will you be back Monday? No. Can you scare me for next week? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was on vacation this week. Oh, okay. Well, did you go anywhere special? Yeah, we went to Hawaii. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. It was actually kind of a work and vacation for oh, me. Okay. I was there at the National Medical Association convention. Oh, okay. My wife and son came along and they got to pretty much have a good time while I was in lectures all day. Oh, okay. I did get to enjoy myself as well. Alright, so this one, when they curve like this, uh -huh. they can be a little difficult to trim. So I can see why you've had issues trying to deal with it yourself at home. Did you have any problems wearing shoes? No. No? Okay. One of the young ladies said, yeah, you're out of town. I won't be back next week. I said, well, next mm -hmm. Tuesday, because I'm in Mexico. I'm exercising Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Okay. Have you ever been to any salons or anything that tried to trim no, them down for no, you? No, I haven't. Huh? I got a few mamas and stuff and everything. And all this <laughs> stuff. And, and all these extra nails and stuff and everything. Gotcha. I won't believe in all this stuff. See him playing game. All right. <laughs> all right. Now, we're going to have to be very careful on this big one because it's very thick and round. Okay. So it's kind of difficult to find where to start. So if it's uncomfortable, you let me know. Oh, okay. We can trim it down. Yeah, well, yes, ma'am. And then when we're done, we're going to file them down. Get a big piece right here, sir. Oh, okay. Okay. No, I'm not going to do too much wrong with all this. Taking all this money, these <laughs> tattoos, and all this stuff. <laughs> the golden girl. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Wait till I'm not with all this new stuff and everything. Right. My daughter, I can hear one more flip phone. My daughter made me get rid of that. <laughs> mm -hmm. Got me one of these other phones with all this tattoos. Oh, you got the, stuff. she got you a smartphone? Well, no, no, no. no like, this is a Samsung stuff. Mm -hmm. Not no small, no small, no uh, smartphones. Like that. Okay. With all this new stuff out here, yeah, if I always look nasty tattoos all over your body and stuff and mm -hmm. everything, why do people put all this stuff on you like that? Why do you want to take all this money and put it in these nails and they can't even pick up, pick up no money off the floor? Mm. How's this one feeling as I trim it down? It doesn't hurt it now. Okay. On the, what what helps to keep it comfortable while we're trimming is is, is uh is why we soaked it first. Oh, okay. Yeah, got the nail, can't pick up nothing. Mm -hmm. All these people making all this money. This is coming along pretty good here. Yeah. 
too long upon their neck mm -hmm. and their face. Pants hanging off of them. And that's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's one thing I can never understand with the pants. The underwear and just I just don't know. Mm -hmm. I feel that. Do you have any um, pressure from your shoes no. on your nails at all? Mm -hmm. It's very soft in the middle. Oh, okay. Which means it's, uh, the nail itself has been completely destroyed by the fungal infection here. Mm -hmm. So the question now remains is the nail root, or what we call the nail matrix, healthy? Will it be able to grow back a regular, a normal nail? Uh -huh. So that's going to remain to be seen. That's what you're sending out. Okay? Mm -hmm. Because, uh, you know, we can get rid of the, the fungal infection. Uh -huh. right? But if there's a lot of destruction of the nail matrix, so what also, it's also known as the nail root, then the, the nail may not grow back normally even if we're able to get rid of the infection. What would you have to do? Well, the only way we'll know is, is to see how it goes over the next three months. Oh, okay. See how the nail grows back. Oh, okay. All right. The lab is gonna tell us what fungus is causing it. Oh, okay. So we'll know what medication to use. Oh, okay. Well, how long would it be before you get the results We'll get the, in about a week or two. Oh, okay. Being this early in the week, we should get it back in a week. Usually, if we if it's like over the weekend and take a little longer, because oh, okay. because we have because we have to FedEx the uh, the re, uh, the sample. Today is Tuesday. Mm -hmm. All right, so yeah, pretty much all the nails have been removed here. Oh, okay. And we were able to do so without any discomfort, so that's good. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Not having any discomfort, right? No. <laughs> Very good. All right. There's a little dry skin there, it's fine. <laughs> All right, so we don't need as big a clipper on this foot, so we're gonna change clippers here. Well, not, this one's not going to come completely off because it's not as thick and there's not as much uh, destruction of the nail plate or the nail root for that matter. But this one is basically just crumbled off. I didn't have to do a whole lot of work to get that one off on your right foot. Now, what type of shoes, particularly this time of year when it's hot, do you usually wear? Well, those. Mm-hmm. Those tennis, sneakers type thing. Well, okay. tennis shoes, I use um, Aces. Mm-hmm. For exercising. 
Got you. Uh, I should mature to that white Okay. Because it's important when you're dealing with nail fungus mm -hmm. that not only do you have to deal with the nails, but you also have to deal with the shoes. Okay. And in that regard, you have to make sure that you're not reinfecting yourself from your shoes. Okay, yes, so, I go out to uh, uh, out in Marble Heights. I don't get them tight, tight shoes at Macy's and them places and everything. I go out there yeah. to uh, the wide shoe store to get nice shoes for my foot. Right. Not no, these cheap shoes, in other words, what I'm trying to say. Mm -hmm. okay. All right, so we're done trimming the nails here. Okay. Next, we're going to shave down the corners. Right. Then we're done, we'll file everything down. And you'll be good to go, my friend. Now, are the corns causing you any pain on, no, on your little no, toes? Nothing caused me no pain. Because you have the exact same corn on both toes. I do. Mm -hmm. Exact same stuff. You know if this hurts because the corn is pretty thick. You know if it comes down the toes. Yeah, go to the rec center. Mm -hmm. Lost my husband about a year ago. Oh, sorry to hear about that. Yeah, so. Stay kind of active. Recreation center. Good. Actually, have exercise five days a week. <laughs> and what type of exercises are you into? Um. Well, chair exercise on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Mm -hmm. They call it chair exercise, but you just don't sit in the chair. Okay. Then Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, we have a guy come from the Y. Okay. And he has us doing a little bit of everything nice. Good. <laughs> I just try to keep, keep busy. Got a lot of stuff here. A lot of people all about they mm -hmm. looking for something to do. It's a lot of stuff to do if you want to do it. Right. If you just want to stay in the house and complain all the time. Hmm. So um, I'm maintaining the house. It's like I said, just keep me busy. Gotcha. So the trip you're getting ready to take is, uh, is it this weekend or next weekend? Yeah, this weekend, during summer, you know, even though Friday night. Okay. He's gonna move into a full vehicle apartment, maybe at the So he's gonna be an apartment this year. Excellent.
So put it some shea butter on your feet here now. Okay. All right. Help with the moisturization. Be careful that whenever you put any, any lotion or cream on your feet, mm -hmm. you put it all over your feet, top and bottom, top and the bottom. toes, ends of the toes, but do not put any between the toes. Oh, okay. All right, you never want to put it between the toes. Oh, okay. Why not? You don't put it between the toes. Well, you don't put it between the toes because the toes are already tight together. So oh, you put okay. them inside the shoes, they're even tighter. Oh, okay. So when you put anything, a cream or an ointment or anything like that between the toes, then what happens is it stays moist all day. Oh, it stays too moist all day. You can end up getting an athlete's foot between the toes. Oh, okay. All right. I do have shade butter. So. Yeah, yeah, use it. And I have to put it on. Yes, <laughs> all right, we're going to take another picture here. We're going to have you come back in a couple of weeks oh, okay. to just see what the results are. Oh, okay. All right, how we feel? Wonderful. Excellent. Wonderful. I'm kind of nervous you coming, but <laughs> the Lord gave me enough strength to come. Yes, ma'am. <laughs>